Hello and welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit. Just a few more minutes before the MotoGP Spanish Grand Prix finally begins. At the moment, the track is completely soaked from the rain that shows no signs of letting up. This will definitely prompt race direction to declare a wet race. Welcome back, Extra TV Life here. Let me take you back to this weekend. We are in Jerez, Red Bull de España, and we have changed the weather condition into variable. So during our first practice, it was really nice weather, and we are really doing really, really well on on the track, taking that third pole position for practice. I think this is actually qualifying oh it's free practice so we are doing okay but as soon as the qualifying round start of course it's a bit of surprise the rain starts pouring on us as you could see here we have to change all our setup since free practice too. So that setup, it doesn't work on wet condition for sure. But you know, we really fight hard while we're qualifying. We are changing our setup. We are crashing, doing a lot of bike retrievals, testing a lot of changes on the Ducati bike for this team Sky of India had a poor Luca Marini on this really suffering on that qualifying change weather anyway Francesco Bagnaia took this ball and we actually managed to stay on 12 positions so we are okay this is actually the setup you can guys pause the video if you guys really like to see it and try it out so but generally we lower a lot of things especially on gear ratio so check it out guys all right before we start this race for our fuel we're gonna go keep it into full for this race because we don't really know how much it's gonna take still I hope everybody liking this game, loving this game so far. To be honest, my thought is like maybe they are so close to be a listing now. And yeah, guys check this out if you haven't got it already. Alright guys, let's head on the track and get wet. Let's give it up to the rookie, Luca Marini. A few moments to go until the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. These riders know it will be vitally important to take the first curve perfectly. Alright, off the grid. Full throttle for that Ducati VR46 Sky Team by Luca Marini. Luca Marini on turn one. Whoa, that's a lot of crash being that wet surface you could see the wobbling on his rear tire turn three on the way you can really tell like everybody on more gear down for this race Luca Marini is struggling on that acceleration for this weather condition on the straight is using power mode one let me see what's his idea here trying to save that fuel early on that game let's click it to the tv mode we are on lap one at Jerez. 
Luca Marini became a contender for the championship title along with Enya Bastiani and some lows in 2020 of Moto2. So now he's on new team of MotoGP Sky VR46. Currently taking that class and taking the challenge. With that Luca Marini cockpit view of his Ducati on the last turn finishing up the first lap for the second lap on this helmet cam first person view of his new model GP21 King absolutely looks amazing clicking back to that TV camera again that turn really run wide a little bit there Still keeping that power mode one. We have our first leader, Quartararo. Joan Mir just passed Quartararo. For that third position, we have Maverick Vinales. On our group, we have Sarko Spargirl. Marini on top 10 position really really big improvement from MotoGP 20 to MotoGP 21 that graphics is really working working well just beautiful absolutely like writer's detail amazing the floor oh look at that tv replay has some glitch on that but that's okay all right back on first person view how the camera I wouldn't say that's not helmet camera, but it's actually Luca Marini's view, guys. Finishing up that second lap on this Ducati. Luca Marini is still on ninth position. Flicking his power mode to second. He's gonna try something on this straight. Putting that power mode three. Oh, not even close. Gotta be careful. He pulls Spargo right behind him. if he can keep this pace and keep his position into at least 10th place or do some miracle there and get to that pole so far we got traction control on fourth and we have anti wheelie on the third Engine braking system on Ford and constantly changing power mode. Whoa, can you see the acceleration of Honda? Just took Luca Marini and he took it back. Luca Marini took that back, running wide on that third turn. Still on ninth place. I 
honestly guys like on wet surface just straggling on turn might as well just keep it coasting on those turns keep a uh, maintain throttle and you're gonna be all right no that really depends on your driving really hard to keep up though so if you lose like just lose a little bit of momentum from your group wherever you're racing if you're in front you're in the middle or the back that's it this ai is just gonna go and you know they're they're even gonna go faster on the later round but absolutely gorgeous gameplay on moto gp21 you don't need any more full throttle on corners so the bike will just give you that you know rev down real rev down whenever you change your gear to a lower one back at it on the straight pole sparker took luca marini out that power of Honda Luca Marini putting showing his Ducati power. Whoa, just Paul Sparker just crash in front of Luca Marini there. On a turn two. We are on seventh position right now. Staying on that power mode too. Just so on mirror still really doing great and Quartararo on second. Three Vinales, those three names are big. Back to the TV camera. Okay, back at it, Luca Marini staying on 8th position right in front of Zarco, his own team Ducati as well. On Luca Marini view right in front of Zarco going to that short straight of Red Bull Dispanion, Jerez. The Ducati power hit the Ducati in front. Not enough, guys. All right, he's hanging in here. It's pretty big already for a rookie to stay on top 10 on every race. All right, guys, this is the final lap of this game. We definitely learn a lot here, you know. Looking at that TV camera again, guys. Back at it. Luca Marini. Getting some free track here. There's got to be a crash going on behind us. can really tell like that back and it's just spinning right out and like if ever on wet condition try to avoid those humps and bumps so you don't lose a lot of time 
really liking this look of a really view here. Anyway, at least he kept this position. So there we have it. Luca Marini on seventh place for this race. Before going to the podium award ceremony, let's take a look at the final MotoGP race results. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do and get notified. Thank you so much for watching X2 TV Live. And as always, we always appreciate your support. See you guys on the next one.